when euro-nymphing, it's important to know where to drift that fly. I spent some time on the water with Fred Rowe of Sierra Bright Dot on the Lower Owens. We were talking about a river section and he was giving me some instruction about how and where to drift that fly. So where do I want my flies to float? Well, the first answer is really easy. Not only does it help me get a good drift, but the foam line represents the concentration of food in the stream. There are times where I can cast the fly and get it to drift where I want by not casting it to the spot because the current pushes it where it needs to go. Well, it does exactly the same thing with the food. It concentrates it, and we see that as the foam on top of the surface, but that's concentrating the food, both dry flies on the surface and nymphs underneath the surface. Okay, one of the keys to my success in fishing a number of different waters is fishing the flies where the fish are living. In the lower Owens, one of those spots is casting into the riffle and dropping into the deep holes where the fish are living. The deeper water gives them the comfort of not being fed on by something above them. Primarily birds is their biggest worry. Number two, cut banks is the other one. The third one are deep runs. All those spots are gonna do it. I fished a spot yesterday that I knew if I could get the drift right on the edge of the fast water, where the slower water was, what we call that seam of the fast slow water, I'd get the fish. Problem was, fast water was pulling my flies out. I had to reach the rod way up over, got it to go right on the seam. Halfway through, I just set the hook. I knew I had the gas, and the fish did his part and took the fly. And that, to me, is 100% success in what I'm doing. Cool information, I really appreciate how Fred Rowe of Sierra Bright Dot goes into a lot of detail about what he's doing and why, so that then I can learn and apply that to other, other times I'm out or other locations that I'm in. If you wanna get that same kind of information and get that same kind of knowledge and skill and help and skill, let me know and we'll get you in touch with Fred Rowe. He guides up in the Eastern Sierra on the Owens as well as Lake Crawley and several of the streams in the area. So call, text, or shoot us an email and we'll put you in touch and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <music>